In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Modern Warfare 2 blurry graphics, bad textures and just general graphics issues within the game on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure how to update your graphics card driver, I will pop some links in the description below to some guides that we have done showing you how to do this. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. Next you need to expand display adapters and as you can see I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super which means I'd need to go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest driver for that graphics card. So like I said if you're not sure how to do all that there are some links in the description below on how you can do this. So now that you've updated the driver for your graphics card the next thing that we want to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date. And you can also do this by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, clicking on update and security, and then clicking on the check for updates button. Also, if you do have a feature update available, download and install that as well. As you can see there, I have the 22H2 update available for my computer. So now that you've updated the driver for your graphics card, updated Windows, we now need to update DirectX. So DirectX is updated through the Windows updates, which is why I wanted you to check for updates, but we can also manually update DirectX as well. So you now need to click on the link in the description below to go to the Microsoft website where we can download the DirectX setup file. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select your language and then press download. Once the file's downloaded, go ahead and run the setup file. You will then have a window that looks like this. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do, click on I accept and then go next. If you want to install the Bing bar, then keep that ticked. If you don't, then deselect it and then press next. It will now check to see if you have the latest DirectX files installed. While it's doing that, I thought this would be a good time just to say that I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do, which we will hopefully add more methods to if none of the methods in this video didn't help fix the graphics issues you'll have with the game. So at the end of this video, if the methods didn't help, then check out that link in the description below. So now that DirectX is up to date, as you can see, I have the latest files installed. We can now press finish. So now that we have everything up to date, go ahead and launch Modern Warfare 2 and see if that resolved the graphics problems you were having. If it didn't, and you have overclocked your graphics card, then try removing those overclock settings, as they could be causing many issues within the game when it comes to the graphics. So only do this if you do know how to remove the overclock settings. If you're not sure how to, then obviously you will have to find out and ask a friend or someone who can show you how to do it. So if it's nothing to do with the overclock settings that you have set, the next thing that we want to do is right click on our desktop and then go to display settings. Next you need to scroll down and you then need to click on advanced display settings and you then need to change your refresh rate. So if you're using a really high refresh rate then try turning it down by clicking on the drop down menu. If you're using a low refresh rate then try turning it up. Depending on what graphics card you have and monitor will depend on what refresh rates you can select. So as you can see I can only go up to 144 and I can only go down to 50. So once you change the refresh rate, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helps. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer and go to the location where you install Call of Duty. Once you're in the location, you will see Call of Duty HQ, open up this folder, and this is the Modern Warfare 2 folder. Next, we need to find some .exe files. So as you can see here, we've got the COD.exe. You need to right click on this and go to properties. Now you need to select compatibility and you then need to tick the option that says disable full screen optimizations and press apply and ok. Now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't then just right click on the file again, go to properties, compatibility and just untick the option. Now the next thing that we want to do is disable G-Sync or FreeSync depending on what graphics card you have. So I will show you how to do this for both graphics card, an NVIDIA and an AMD. First I will show you how to disable G-Sync on an NVIDIA graphics card. So we need to open up the NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on our desktop and then selecting the NVIDIA control panel. You then need to select Setup G-Sync and you will then see the option here that says Enable G-Sync. You need to just deselect this option, make sure it's not ticked and then press Apply 
and then your screen might go blank for a second. And once you disable G-Sync, now go ahead and launch the game. If that didn't help, then like always, just re-enable G-Sync. So to do this on an AMD graphics card, you need to right click on your desktop and then go to the AMD software and select that. Now select the settings cog in the top right hand corner and then click on display and then toggle the free sync to disabled. Once you've done that, now launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then you can always re-enable AMD FreeSync. So the next thing that we need to do is just keep Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 open. I'm going to launch my game now. Alrighty, once you have the game open, you now need to select the settings cog in the top right hand corner or press F3 on your keyboard. We then need to go down to graphics. So the first thing that we want to do is change the display mode. So you need to click on the drop down and you then need to select full screen exclusive. This is now going to unlock a few different options. So you need to ensure that you have the correct display adapter selected and you then need to change your refresh rate in game. So earlier on in the video, we changed our refresh rate in Windows. So just make sure it's the same refresh rate as what you changed earlier. The next thing that you want to do is also change your resolution. So you can click on this and then just change it to a different resolution. So at the moment I'm using the highest resolution, but if I'm having issues with that resolution, then I could try using a lower resolution. So just try out a few different resolutions and then see if that helps resolve the graphics issues you're having. The next thing you're gonna see is dynamic resolution. You need to ensure that this is off. Also, I want to just say in the bottom right hand corner, make sure you are not up to the max area on the VRAM usage. So as you can see at the moment, there's quite a bit of a gap there between the max and the end of this little light gray area. So if you are nearly hitting the max, then go on to quality and just lower some of your graphic settings. We will be going over to the quality tab in a second. I just want to carry on going through the display settings. So next you're going to see V-Sync you need to make sure this is off. You're going to see VSync menus, make sure this is also off. The next thing you're going to see is custom frame rate limit. So change this to custom and then click on show more. You're now going to see a few different options. So as you can see here, we have the gameplay custom frame rate limit. Mine's currently set to 250. If you're having quite a few problems, then try just changing this to 60 and then see how the game runs. If it runs perfect, then try increasing it slightly. If it then starts running a bit rubbish again, then just lower the frame rate back down. So now that we've changed all those settings, the next thing that we want to do is select the quality tab. So once you're on the quality tab, you're now going to see quality presets. So straight away, just try changing this to the recommended by clicking on reset to recommended and then press performance. Once you've done that, now launch into the game and see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is just change a few settings. So the first thing that we want to do is change the render resolution. Because I changed this to recommended, it's currently locked and I can't change this. And that's just simply because the upscaling is on. So we need to click onto this and just change it to off. Now we can change the render resolution. So this needs to match your resolution that you set in display. So if I just press apply, you can see that my resolution in here is 1920 by 1080, which means that I need to go back to quality and just change this to 1920 by 1080. Otherwise it will look a bit weird. Normally it will be the 100, which will be the same resolution as what you're using. Next, you need to change anti-aliasing. You want to change this to Filmic SMAA T2X. Once you've done that, you then also want to change the anti-aliasing quality. So mine's currently on normal. You want to change this higher is better, but obviously depending on your graphics card will depend on what you can change this to. So I like to stick it onto high. Next we have the video memory scale. So like I said earlier, if you are getting close to the max, we can actually turn this up a bit. So at the moment you can see the bars here and it's basically saying that we're on 3573 and we can go up to 5,992 meg. If I now turn this up to 90, we will be able to use a lot more of the video memory. So just change that to 90, and you then need to scroll down more, and you want to make sure that your texture resolution is on normal or high. So straight away you can see there that jumped up a lot for the VRAM usage. I'm actually going to keep that on normal for now. We then want to change this option here as well, the texture filter. 
Make sure this is on either normal or high as well. If you have these on low, so very low for texture resolution and texture filter, you're going to have really bad looking textures in game. So again, this does depend on what graphics card you have, will depend on what you can set it to, because if your graphics card isn't powerful enough, then you're not going to be able to obviously set it too high. So if we scroll down more, we can leave a few of these settings on low, that's fine because it's more the textures and stuff we're looking at. So the next options we want to change are at the bottom under post processing effects. So as you can see, I've currently got Nvidia Reflex on. We want to actually turn this to off. And the next thing you want to change is depth of field. You want this on off. World motion blur you want off as well. Weapon motion blur you also want off. And then also the film grain, we want to set that to zero. So once you've done all that, press apply. So once you change all those settings, the next thing that we want to do is select the display tab and you then need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're then going to see the option to restart your shaders. We need to click onto this option and then press restart. Now go ahead and restart the game and then it will restart the shaders and then launch into a game and see if that helps. So like I said at the start of the video, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do, which will hopefully have more methods in it to fix the graphics issues in Modern Warfare 2. So if one of the methods in the video didn't help, then check out that link now. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.